Yes, let's do that. We might be quiet. Hold on. What? I'm never quiet. You might be quiet. I'm never quiet. You know, I... Audio is always such a tricky thing with us because, you know, because we, we fluctuate so much. You never want to go too high or else we blow everything out. And sometimes we are quieter, somber. And... I could be in a vacuum and my voice would pick up. It's true. It's true. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Is that a Hawaiian shirt? Kind of. Uh, this is my uh, I've been eating like garbage for the past week shirt, and I'm feeling very fat, so I put this on to hide my fat stomach. Okay. Shirt. Well, uh, now we all know, and you're hiding nothing. Huh? You're hiding nothing. I'm just okay, trying to be we, honest. Can we make that music stop? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What, 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 what are we doing? Huh? What are we doing here? Ah. Uh, we're playing three, two, one grenades. Uh, profile. Oh, here we go. You're here. You're player two, Rich. You get the. Oh, and you're gonna have me use the controller. Or do you want me to use I, the controller? That's fine. It's fine. You already got the. You already got the fucking keyboard and mouse on your lab. I see what's going on. If tell me now if you want to change, because you know I'm more comfortable it's, with the controller. It's fine. Rich, you tell me we now. Can, we can switch if it's absolutely right. terrible. I'm gonna be player one named Jack. What what profile am I selecting? You go to create. The create. Oh my god. Go to create. You can do this. We're playing three, two, one grenades, which um, I don't know anything about except for that it looks kind of cute and I wanted to play it. Remember, you said that Friday the 13th was boring. When? Not you. The chat. Oh, yeah. Chat, chat, was... chat was done with Friday the 13th. Um, <laughs> so, you know. Play one is ready. All right. Let's do a quest here. Let's do a, the old Questeroni. See what this is. Friday the 13th is great. Well, not the whole chat. No. I saw a few comments. I think it's also important for us okay. to switch it up. I, I know you're not a hive mind. Right. I think it's important to switch it up. Try out some new games. You never know, Rich. You never know when you're going to find that game that you love. I'm not saying that this is definitely going to be it, but, you know, it could be. It could be a fun... Whoa. Right, I am clearly on the bottom. Rich is on the bottom. Can we change it? Like, can I be on... Can we go left and right? Whoa, what'd you do? I threw a grenade at the button. Okay. Wait for me. Whoa, whoa. Okay, the longer you hold the trigger button, the longer you... Like, the farther you can throw your grenade. Press E, hold on. Well, I just, look. I, just, I just nailed the shot and you, ru you ruined it. You, you, you ruined it. I... What are you talking about? I, I was talking to the guy. Okay, oh shit. Oh god, I'm so you, sorry. You Rich. stopped to do this. I'm so and sorry. And now you're skipping the whole thing. Well, because you already did it. And it, okay, there we go. Sorry. You already did it. I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay, there's a big. Mo oh wait, let's go over here. Let's see what's what? What? Oh, there was a truck. Oh, you found a golden grenade. Security protocol locks down all doors in case of emergency. You'll need to find more golden grenades to open the door in the factory. You can win grenades by playing matches against your friends or against bots. After you collect 10, go to the portal room. That's where the monster was last year. Okay. Let's see if we can find any golden grenades. What are you? Ooh, I picked up a bomb. Hey. <laughs> don't throw grenades at me. Why, why not? It's, why wouldn't I? I have bombs. Are these infinite? Oh. Your bombs aren't. Huh? You can't seem to blow up the boxes. I thought there might be golden That's grenades. That's dumb. Boxes. You should absolutely be able to blow up boxes. What about this? 
Well, let's see what we can let's see what we can do. This supposedly has a uh, a campaign mode. Not it's not just one player versus one player. But apparently, we need to. F oh, you found you found golden grenades. Yeah, I'm all I'm all over this shit. Where did you find them? I'm already I'm already. Where are you? Damn near breaking the map with my elite skills, Jack. Uh, how apparently? Oh, oh, wait, did you go up here? Yeah. Oh. Nope. Oh my god, this is like a shitty Mario 64. <laughs> Except for you throw grenades. So, you know, it's got that going for it. Why are some of these purple? There's a reason for this, right? Some of the boxes are purple. Can you blow them up with grenades? No. That's all we have is grenades, Rich. Oh my god. Rich is done already. Which, you know, it's fair, you know, I knew that was a possibility. <laughs> Some of them are pink, too. Can you blow up the pink ones? Oh, look, you can punch stuff. Did you know you can punch stuff? Yes, I did. Oh. It doesn't seem at all useful. No, no, not at all. Over here, can we get like? Oh shit! I'm kind of stuck. No, I got out. I got out. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Chad, how's it going? Sorry, we got so engrossed in the world of three, two, one bombs. Oh wait, did you see up there? Windows are broken. Oh, that's good. Good call. Good. Good. Okay. All right. A good notice. All can right. you get in them? Uh, oh, probably not. Three, two, wait. one. Refund. Wait a minute. What? Two of those windows are broken. Yeah. All right. All right. Can we get up there? Can, like, if we land on a bomb, can it, like, help us jump? Like, rocket jumping? No. I will be, I'll be honest with you, the only reason that I thought we could play this today is because it said it had a single player mode. Or like a campaign, you know. I was told, I was told that this had like a, a not versus each other campaign mode. Oh, how'd you get up there? Jumped up some stuff. And so I feel like it's false advertising that this has a one player campaign mode. Bad jumper, Rich. You're a much better oh jumper. Oh my than god. <laughs> oh my god. There oh go. my god. Wait, throw them in the. Can you get them in the holes for the other window? <sighs> How do we extend the range of the grenade? Uh, I don't think we do. Apparently, we have to go and do this. Oh, wait. I went Was that enough? Door. I went in the door. Oh, yeah. See, look. Oh. Oh, we're just dumb, Rich. The door just opened? You didn't have to blow it up with the golden grenades? No, because these doors have, like, this is Mario 64, see? All right. We have two golden grenades, so we can go in the one door. So yeah, let's go in the one. Did you just go? I in just opened head? one. Huh? Which one? Uh, this one over here by me. Oh, okay. You want to do that one? I don't. You know, I don't know. I don't know the difference. Okay. So. Great. Paintball arena. Punch. Oh, did you need to look? No. I'm fine. Okay. So it's Eat your heart out, Splatoon! This game beat you to it! Oh, oh, Did it? Uh, I killed myself. Yeah. 
Coming for you, Rich. I'm gonna paint the walls. Here, have a grenade. Eat my grenade! I blew you up. So what you're saying is you're a douchebag. Yep. Well, I, I already killed myself on accident, so I needed to kind of like... Reset it. So, Rich. I have an important question for you. It sucks. Huh? It sucks. Well, I have an important question for you. Yeah. Uh, what game do you want to play? <laughs> what game do you want to play next? Um... I was... Listen, this is a great shirt, and I'm glad that everyone is enjoying my great shirt. Ooh, what's that? Can I get that? Wait, there's a thing up there. Not anymore. Huh? Yeah, there's a thing up there. That's a golden grenade. Let me get it. Let me get that golden grenade, yo. There's a golden grenade up here, too. I was... I was led to believe by the, the game's commercial that this was this was a, a campaign, uh, an adventure campaign where we could go and fight monsters and stuff with, with by throwing grenades, and it looks pretty fun. Uh, I feel like this game has absolutely lied to me. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I feel like I have been lied to. Yeah. What's happening? Are we playing this I, again? I don't know. I, are we capture the pug three times? Let's capture the pug. I don't know. I picked up a bomb. Where's the pug? Oh, hold on. There's a, there's a thing over here. Don't blow up the pug. Who the pug at me? Oh, neat. <laughs> okay, so I have a pug now. Damn it. Kill myself. Dang it, Rich. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it all the heck. Yay, I killed you with a bomb. Oh, I captured the pug! Come on, pug. Round two. Round two. Congratulations, Rich. Get out of town. Boom. Oh, I got my mad pug catching strats now, Rich. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. Suck it! Picked up the pug.
Get out of town with the- oh. Get out of town. Damn it. Damn it. Eh, it's not a bad game. <laughs> now that- now that- Capture the pug is cute. Paint the walls was dumb as fuck. Oh. BAM! Damn. <laughs> Damn! Damn it, Rich. <laughs> That's right, Rich is the prom queen. Tiny mode? Okay. Let's we'll see what we got. This is garbage. Please stop. You know what? What happened to Wolfenstein? What did happen to Wolfenstein? We played it. I, I I was more bored by Wolfenstein than I was this. What game mode is this? Huh? What game mode is this? Let's just kill each other. This is just deathmatch. But we're tiny. If you notice. Yeah. Can't handle this, Rich. Shit, he handled it. Boom! Last kill. Last kill. I, I feel like, oh. Wait, what? Wait, what happened to the last kill? I got you. I feel like I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay. Great. Best dreams are when no one looks at chat, not even chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, listen, we're we're just we're checking this out. Um Oh shit. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Oh oh look at that. Then you know this is the mark of quality when in game graphics obscure in game menus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should be. What's going on? What? Oh, apparently if I quit to Overworld, that doesn't mean you quit to Overworld. Could you uh, quit to Overworld? Because uh, this is just uh, get five kills again. So. Is there a way up here? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Perhaps. You're about to check out? Yeah, you know. Check out? What? They're about to get, give up and leave? That's possible. Listen. Sometimes, all right. What's, sometimes you got to make a call. What's the plan? Wh huh? What's the plan? The pl the plan is simple. We're gonna try one more area. Okay. Like one more map area. See if there's any more game modes. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna find something else to play. All right. That's uh, that's as simple a plan as I got. And that's all I can do. This is just you. Oh, okay. Fine. Can you do some kind of single player? I mean, yeah, the whole thing is single player. It, or it can be single player. How do you do the deathmatch one single player? Get five kills. That doesn't make any sense. Bots. See, that should open up. You throw a grenade at it, don't you think? 
Look at that area. Click on it, punch it. Well, check out this map. See if there's anything. Jack made this game in secret. No. No, I just thought it looked cute. Is that laptop dead? I don't know. Did we not plug it in? Uh, that's impossible. <sighs> I can't check tips or anything. Great. The, the plugger is right over there. I'm going to look for it. That's pretty bad. Game's pretty bad, guys. Like, I don't feel like I was looking for too much here. He's just like, go go around. How did you not expect this to be terrible? I'm just curious, what, what did you see in this? Well, it, you know, it looks cute. Yeah. And, you know, the idea of, like, basically a first-person shooter where you only have grenades. And you go, oh, okay, so it's, it's a cute first-person <laughs> shooter where you only have grenades. And But then I figured it would be, like, a normal first-person shooter where, like, it had levels and, you know, bad guys to fight. But it's all just fighting each other. So I thought it, I thought it would be a fun, you know, especially for streaming, where it's like, oh, you know what? This will be a silly, mindless thing. We'll go through these levels and we'll throw grenades at bad guys. And that'll be something easy to stream while we talk about nonsense, jo right? Joking aside, if yeah. you're if you're enjoying this, you can keep playing. It's not a big deal. Not. It's am, not a big deal. I am not enjoying it, you see. I am not enjoying it at all. I think it's actually kind of dumb. Wolfenstein, Friday the 13th. Right. Uh, yeah, it was FTL or the... The lighthearted Star Trek Oregon Trail. I never remember the name of that one. A ton of things we could do. A ton, metric ton. XCOM. I'm just, I'm just not in the mood. I'm not. I'm not in the mood to get my. Actually, I shouldn't even want to get in the mood because I, I need to start playing Wolfenstein. Have you Last thing I needed to get a huge XCOM sidetrack. I, you know what? I didn't play the new one yet. I started playing the... I actually started playing some of the older ones. I started playing classic Wolfenstein. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, and you know, um, the thing the thing about Wolfenstein is I also find that to be incredibly boring, and I did not want to play Wolfenstein anymore. Oh, yeah? The new one? Or the, you know, the old... The, the, one? the new order? The new order. Yeah, where it's just... It, it's so standard. And it has so many cutscenes, and I don't necessarily like the story is fine, and I like the setting, and the world is fun, but I just the levels are too short, and it does it's not holding my attention. Okay, that's uh, that's my official review of Warfenstein's The New Order. Um, wow, well that was a big failure. That's all I had, Rich. Shit happens, Jack. Yeah. So you don't. So we're not doing Wolfenstein. I mean, if if you would like to play Wolfenstein, then you play Wolfenstein, and I'll. I'll I want. I want. I want to get into that in my own time. I don't. I don't, I don't want. I don't want all. No, I mean, I'm serious because it's like okay. it's got a lot of cutscenes and story stuff, oh, right? Oh, it does. It has I just. I just don't want to be too distracted when I'm playing it. Of course. Of course. All right. So, but I, I have to put the the burden on you right now because I came with three, two, one grenades and I failed, Rich. I don't give a shit if we do more Friday the Thirteenth. For all I give a shit. Okay, well, let's do that then. Just uh, put it on. I would love to play that. Just put it on. It'll be fine. Or Rocket League. We haven't done Rocket League in ages. Oh, yeah. You know what? I feel like Rocket League, though, there's not enough downtimes where if we Yeah, what's, it's not good for chatting. Friday the that's, 13th is perfect that's, for chatting. That's what I like about Friday the 13th, though. It's perfect for chatting. Hiding in a closet. Yep. And, yeah, you know, what's going on? You know, okay. All right. Friday the 13th it is. Let's, uh... I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, Jack, it's fine. You, you wanted well, to try something new. You wanted to, that could have been a hidden gem, Jack. It, oh, of course. Well, that's that's all, all I can say is you know I, that was a bad game. We I knew it as soon as we started <laughs> playing it. I didn't have the foresight, but I will never stop trying new games. Never ever. Get out of here. Stop it. There we go. 
I will never stop trying new games because I want to find those hidden gems. But hey. But hey. It has been a while since we played Rocket League, but I would be so out of practice at this point. Oh, right. Also, yeah, we, we start playing Rocket League, and you just can't pay attention to chat. You can't pay attention to anything, so. N nothing wrong with a little Rocket League. All right, summer camp. Boom. The laptop is updating. Windows is updating. Of course. Of course it is. Get your update on, bitch. And then um, for this one, we have to turn the brightness up a little bit. Can we just do that in game? Huh? Can we just do that in game? I don't. Rather think than you... fuck us for future streams, and I'm not gonna remember where to go to do this. Maybe I'll come in. You know, you... you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if you can do it in game. Sure, you can. You can do that. In just like... You can do that in every semi-competent PC game. You cannot. Though you cannot bind keys in Friday the Thirteenth. But I'm curious to see now, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. Give me one moment to change our text here, and we will find out if you can. That game. Have you been recognized playing it? No. No, I have not. Have you? Yes, a number of times. Oh. I have a fairly distinctive voice, though. Well, that's true. That is very true. Uh, no, I have not. I've been recognized uh, playing Overwatch by people. You know how this game likes to crash frequently? Yeah. There's people out there who probably think I'm a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. There's a group of people who recognize me as Rich Evans. Uh-huh. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, right then, game chose to, chose to boot me. Oh, and they're like, oh, no, we yeah, recognize oh, Rich Evans. Yeah, he's a dick. He like dude talking to his fans. You know. Oh. I look like a huge fucking dick. Sorry, Rich. This other time, people got the car fixed. Yeah. I didn't know they had the car fixed. I just I looked at the, the objectives, and I was kind of close to the car. Oh, they had the gas and the, the battery in the car. I had the keys, and I started running towards them. Hey, guys, I've got the key. And then I got disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> so to them, some jackass was running towards them. Sick of they screamed about keys. They yeah. just collapsed and died. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got the key. I got the key. Quality down. Um, no, right. Oh, Gamma. Oh, Gamma. There it is. Yep. I was about to say no. But we got a Gamma setting. There we go. Okay. You wanna you wanna play first? I don't give a shit. And I'll be I'll be uh that's, that's fine. I'll be in charge of pressing the T button. That's the other person's job, of course. Do we have it set to press to talk? Is uh, that's that's up to you. Got it. You got to check that. That's up to you right. right now. Oh God! I'm gonna move that so I don't accidentally hit the muse. No. Oh, that's pretty cute. Are your settings. Push to talk. Yes. Okay. Great. Oh, you don't have uh, who? Oh, this is me. This is that's right. I'm logged into Steam. So you might not have your perks that you're used to. Uh, what do you even have for perks? I have some good ones, actually. I have some decent perks. So it's a, bit, it's a bit late now to fuck with that. We're about to start. We'll see what I get. Uh, hey, everybody. A lot to talk about. I got a lot to talk about. We can we can chat about a lot of things. Uh, I was kid-free for the majority of last week. Yeah. And I spent all of that time catching up on a zillion movies. Yeah. So, And I feel great about it. And going out to eat, like, every every uh, lunch and dinner, because uh, there are a lot of restaurants in our area that are not necessarily kid-friendly. You know, where, like, they don't have, like, kid food. Yeah. But, you know, me and Lisa want to go there, and so we were kidless, and now we're going to go to the nice restaurants. You know what I had? Hmm. You know what I had? A bone marrow butter burger. Bone marrow butter burger. It was so you know it was a burger with this big hunk of bone marrow butter just dripping on top. What makes bone marrow butter? It is it is butter infused with cooked bone marrow. Okay. And so okay. it's this like it's butter that's rich and meaty drizzled on top of a beautiful hamburger with like fried onions and spicy aioli and it was no. gorgeous. What the fuck am I? Look at this. We're, we're perfectly average, Jack. Yeah, that's fine. I've per never started there before. That is so weird. 
Maybe they're uh, mixing up where people start. Out in the middle of nowhere, where I, 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 I'm not near a campsite. That's just fucking peachy. Uh, no, the sandwich you were supposed to guess on Twitter was a croque monsieur. My joke on Twitter today was we, uh, that we were going to play Guess the Sandwich. And so my, my hint to people was uh, Italian meat and press toasted. Yeah. Which is a croque monsieur. All right, everybody has a fucking huge head start on me. Why? I, I did start near a cabin where I can go and loot for some... Shit. For fuck's sake. He this might have teleported... Oh, yeah, he, he teleported away from me. He's you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, a croque monsieur, uh, which is mostly... It's it basically a croque monsieur is like a ham panini with cheese on top, but it's like pressed really nice. It's, it's a, a really good sandwich. Also, if you are not into ham and more into turkey, I believe that's called a croque madame. Croque madame. Uh, yeah, I have, it's like a, it's like a, it's kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, but it's not, I don't know. Croque madame. You like a croque madame better? I, I prefer the monsieur. I prefer the ham over the turkey. But, you know, it's ever, it's each their own. And so, like, a lot of times it's ham, but some people will, like, throw other, like, Italian meats in there, like salami. And it's, uh, it's just delicious. Ooh, keys. Nice. Get the tea. Just found keys. Uh, Okja is not one of the movies that I got to see, though I am very excited to see it. Okja, the new movie by the director of Snowpiercer. Hold on, Rich. What? Walkie talkie. Just want you, know, you let other people know yeah, you got a walkie talkie. Right, right. That's my personal walkie talkie rule is you let other people know you got a walkie talkie. Uh, so I did not get a chance to watch Okja, but I've. Uh -huh. Ape it, Jason. Who has a gas? Uh, I did get to see Split, finally, the M. Night. I found the phone, but he got a trap on it. <laughs> that's, that's what he typically does. The, uh, the M. Night movie, and I saw The Neon Demon, which was uh, fantastic. And uh, what else did we go see? Nope. I'm looking for one. We saw some other movies, too. I'm at Spring Water Camp. If you got a pocket knife or uh, backup... I got the fuse, I just don't have good repair. That's nice, people are talking. That's great. That Some is great. Uh, okay, let's get to some tips here. Yeah, it's the middle house. Uh, Anonymous says, where lies the strangling fruit that came from the hand of the sinner? I shall bring forth the seeds of the dead to share with the worms that gather in the dark. Nice. Do it, do it, do it! Uh, Alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that dick. Do you have a knife? Nope. Nope, he's there, he's there. You can't get in the car. <laughs> Can't get in the car. Yep, no, he's smart. He's a smart Jason. Hanging out by the car. Where did my bat go? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> uh, and Cephalo Pathetic says, Rich, it was an honor and a privilege to have driven you to safety the other day. Here's some money. <laughs> go buy yourself a pocket knife. <laughs> oh, God. Where are you with the oh, that's one of the people I was playing with who probably oh, thought yeah, I just I ditched them. <laughs> Yep, and so they they're they're donating uh, pocket knife money. Oh, I just you just got out. Hold on, I just came in. I just came in. Yeah, I think it might have actually been on this house. Yeah. It's in the first house. I I just walked by it. Please, no. 
Here, if you drop it, I'll put it in and you just go inside. Oh my god. What happened? What about okay. the trap? Oh, oh. Hey, I can swing it. when I hit the swing button. Try and keep him stunned. He's getting over here, though. Oh, good. We got a Tommy. I know. There's nothing I can do. Nice. All right, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ready? Yeah, ready. Just gotta put it in real quick. Nice. I think you have a full car, too. Just run as soon as you get it. I can run pretty good. It's good. Go. Go. <laughs> we are full enough. <laughs> we have three. I'm okay with three. Okay. All right. No, that's great. How good is this, Jason? Not very. Not very? Whoa! Um, whoever's in Springwater, I'm taking the boat so you can meet me there. Are they waiting for you? <laughs> what? Hey. What, Rich? Look at you! Did you guys? Did you guys fucking see that? That's some fucking driving. Did you fucking see that? <laughs> Did you fucking see that skill? You are the world's best backwards driver. That was amazing. Thank you. That Thank was you. amazing, Rich Evans. You won't see that in a horror movie, no. <laughs> like you'll see that in a really bad horror movie where the killer can't get anyone because oh, they ain't good. I'm so glad that was on camera. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, man. Beautiful. All right, let's see here. I am Chester says I don't care what you guys play, but I may have a compromise between Final Fantasy Tactics people and Rich's principles. A clone of Final Fantasy Tactics called Dis Disgia. Uh, it's on Steam. It could make for an interesting stream. So it's a all tactics right, right. game that's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics, but it's technically not a Final Fantasy game, so you won't have to compromise your... If, if Tactics is you just run up to the enemy and take turns hitting each other until one of them is dead, I'm no, less no, no, interested, no. Like, but I don't know. No, Final Fantasy Tactics is like a grid tactics All right, game, all right. Is f from what I hear, but... We tried that with, um... What was the Viking one? Oh, yeah. What was and the it was kind of kind of dull. Yeah. What was the Banner Viking? Saga. Banner Saga. Light Tactics and Oregon Trail. Good old Banner Saga. I know they made a sequel to that. Are you ready to be a girl? No, yeah, yeah. They do. They already, they already are a girl. Uh, I mean, she kind of, she kind of looked like a girl from. That's <laughs> I, I mean, like I, that was his one liner, and he just didn't well, pick up a male camper, and so. To be fair, yeah. Jason uh, is a special needs. case. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a special needs kid. He is a special needs kid. Well, at least we called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Cyrus, uh, the kid. mild cold, right, says, Hi, Hacks. Did you ever consider playing yeah, a bona fide roguelike? The emergent storytelling could work well in a stream. I'm playing a roguelike called Cave of Quid right now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the bona fide roguelikes... Oh, we had a full car, I guess. I don't even know. I think so, yeah. I think you had a full car. Unless somebody got out with a boat. Maybe. Maybe. No, like I said, I, I really think uh, three people got in, besides you, but I could be wrong. Nothing against the bona fide roguelikes, uh, just, you know, visual presentation can sometimes be a problem, so I, I, I think I have Cave of Quad on my Steam wish list as a bona fide roguelike. Yeah. Oh God, so. no! That's all I got. I'm sorry. Oh, you know what other movie I watched uh, this week? This week with with uh, my kid free time. Yeah. Just because I could, is uh, I rewatched Star Trek Beyond. Yeah. What a fun fucking yeah, movie that is. <laughs> what a fun movie. 
I noticed that it was uh, it was uh, it's free on Amazon Prime yeah. for a rental, and so it's just like, let's just watch Star Trek Beyond <laughs> because it's such a great fucking movie. It's not the best thing ever, but no, it's a damn fun, damn fun Star Trek right? movie. It's a cute, it's a cute adventure. You know, it, what it is is an incredibly competent space adventure. <laughs> it's. Mommy has a reward for you. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, I guess it's a slightly more incompetent Star Trek 2009. S slightly more competent. Yeah. You said more incompetent. Oh, did I say in? You, you sure I said in? I'm pretty sure you said in. I thought but I said just slightly more. No, well, you said slightly, slightly more, more incompetent. incompetent. Yeah, that's a good if I did, that was an accident. Right, that's why I just wanted slightly to... more competent at a slightly. Oh, you know what? I might have. I, I was also going to say I probably started to say in character, in um, a more. Yeah. Sure, sure. Slightly more in character, Kirk. Yes. Yeah. Two thousand nine thought Kirk was just like a, a nothing but a horn dog. Right. That's it. And an asshole. Horn dog action man. Yeah. Yep. Now up here, here, like every, you know, they spend time figuring stuff out. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? Let's use our minds. <laughs> but they still, you know, punch people but and it, have fun. It, it didn't end with Spock beating Khan to death while screaming. While screaming in an emotional <laughs> rage. Rage. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, into darkness, so bad, so bad. But Beyond was it was really good. I, and, I, you know, we were looking up uh, the box office afterwards. Because, you know, Lisa was like, are they making another one of these? This is really good. And I was yeah, like, yeah. they are not, because it did not do well at the box office. Uh, it was something like, it was, it, it made a hundred and... 180 million. Or no, it cost 180 million. And it made over 400 and so like if you if you do the thing where you double it to get its advertising budget it did not make back its money mm -hmm. according to box office mojo unfortunately so instead we get discovering well it doesn't matter what they're going to do about Chekhov they're not making another movie and if they did make another movie he would die and they'd have a little f in, in movie funeral scene yeah. for Chekhov and that would be fine if they were going to make another one, is that how you think they'd handle it? Now he's on a different ship. He got transferred to the SS something. He's on the Excelsior. That'll be that'll that'll they'll, they'll build that one thirty years earlier because they want to use it in the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, they would probably want to pay some sort of respect, as like especially if Simon Pegg writes it again. Yeah, he got he got promoted. His first Ooh. officer on the Excelsior. Ooh. No, I, I I would assume that they would kill him off. I have to do just something. so they could have a. I have to escape. No, they're not going to do that because it's a it's it's Chekhov. I, well, I know it's sad that the actor's dead. Here, but you know what, that's me, some valuable intellectual property. Let me revise my statement. Mm -hmm. If they were already working on another sequel, like if another sequel was going to come out like immediately after Beyond, it would be a funeral. I, I think it's. Slightly more tasteful, just to say he got promoted. And not don't dwell on it. Don't don't milk it. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's my revised statement. Is if it was a, a soon sequel. Oh, like like shortly after, just for like just for the tribute. Right. All right. Then we would get an in, in right. movie funeral. But now it, it it has been enough time where they can either do something like that or recast, and and be fine with it. Someone's going there. Somebody check out the little house here. Recast Tom Holland as Chekhov, right? They look incredibly alike. They do. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> right? Yeah, you could cast Tom Holland as, as the new Chekhov and no one would blink an eye. Wait, didn't that guy die? I have a map now. I don't have a map. There's a... Yeah, Tom Holland will be, or Tom Holland will be his brother. Something else, Chekhov, and they just keep calling him Chekhov. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Let's see Check here. 
Uh, did you just call me Blob? Said, hey, from Britain. Massive fan of you guys and RLM. Hey. Do, do you ever play real-time strategy games like Total War, Age of Empires, Company of Heroes, or even Star Trek Armada? I can't handle real-time strategy games. I, I just, I can't, I can't handle what they throw at me. I don't, I don't like multitasking. Yep. They, they frazzle me, mm -hmm. and I don't enjoy the experience. Rich, uh, it is not uh, an overstatement to say you love strategy. I, I like turn-based. Well, that, that's, yeah. that's what I was getting at. I was taking the long way around, which is, I think you love nothing more in a game than pausing and figuring it out. <laughs> In a, in a strategy game, if, fuck yes. If I can do this and then this and then this and then and then you watch it all happen and see if it works. <laughs> and I, I can't do that in real time. I, I, I gotta I gotta check, go check on the fields. Maybe they're invading the fields. <laughs> oh, I gotta click out. I didn't click all the guys. I, I forgot to click all the guys. Oh shit! I gotta, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta check back and make sure my base isn't getting invaded. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Come here, bro. Come here. The gas is over here, bro. This guy's gonna shoot me in the face. This guy's absolutely this gonna guy's shoot me in the face. absolutely going to shoot me in the face. Yep. Oh no, or Jason's gonna be in there. Bro, look, here's a goss. Don't bring it to the four seater. He didn't shoot you in the face. Wow. Interesting. Four seater is hitty. I'm gonna bring it to the boat. Four seater already has gas. Looks like they started it. Do you guys need goss? You told them. You told them we were going to the boat. We're going to the boat. Oh, he's just doing Chad voice. Oh, yeah. He, oh, okay. He's being a kid. He's doing it. He's doing it. Well, Chad is a dick, though. <laughs> so there was a high chance I would get shot in the face. And I just thought he was doing the voice. I thought he was doing the voice to be a dick. I didn't necessarily think it was a Chad voice, you know. What's your repair stat like? Hers is good. Okay. But I... I hate doing this with the controller because the R R B L B is not instinctive to me. Yeah. So I'm st still might fuck nice. that up. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice, Rich. Okay. All right, now I just got to find that propeller. Sometimes it spawns there. It's not there. All right. It's probably in those cabins in the north, right? I have to take another look around here, though. I wasn't really keeping an eye out for Yeah, power. and he, he brought you in the middle of it. Yeah. Let's see here. Yonder Yonder says, uh, something else to play. How about Duke motherfucking Grabowski? Or poop in my soup, as always. I don't know what Duke Grabowski is. Oh, we, we won. Oh. oh. Jason either quit, glitched, or got disconnected. Most likely disconnected. I've been disconnected from a lot it of could, games. It could have been a rage quit if they got out in that car. Oh, sure. Hey, thanks for leveling me up. No problem. <laughs> and everyone's going to think you are an amazing driver. <laughs> There's going to be YouTube videos like people in that car goes, look at what Harlack did. Look at Harlack's a great player. I'm just going to go, yeah, this is rich. <laughs> And you, but you know, oh, you didn't hear me? Oh, sorry, I almost said it once. <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll keep this on random. Okay. This is interesting. All right. But I don't know what, what your perks sound like here. Oh, God, nothing? Nothing? Wait, oh, it, like at home oh, I have perks. because it, it's on, on the Steam? Because it's on the Steam, yeah. But I got some nice perks. I got some Ooh, nice perks. Oh, when you get break free on the ground. But when you break free, you get a huge stamina boost. Hmm. Oh, I'm so fucking jealous. That's the one. Look at that. 24%. I am so fucking jealous. So what that perk is, <laughs> to understand why Rich is so jealous, anytime you are crouched and Jason uses his sense, that thing that makes you glow bright red, there is a 24% chance that he won't see you. And that is an amazing perk, especially when you are trying to sneak away from him. Nice perks. Yeah, yeah, I have some good perks. That that big that big CP weekend helped. <laughs> Where you got the big one, you just like re-roll, re-roll. That was the one I that was the only one I wanted though. The I have a lot of one? other decent perks. Mm -hmm. That was the only one I really wanted and I couldn't get it. It's a really a nice one and a twenty four percent chance. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice one. I think I think I've got it for like 
11. Oh, okay. Well, still something. It's a chance. Wait, no, it's not even... I don't know. I got, the version <laughs> I got of that is really shitty. Yeah. It's like common or uncommon... Or common or... Gotcha. Trash version of that. <laughs> I gotcha. Hey, did Yonder Yonder ever tell us what... Only 24... 24% is a high percentage as far as yes. these perks are concerned. Usually, like, you'll get... You put get that per- on the right character, someone with good composure, you're never going to yeah. be seen. Like, there are some perks that'll only give you, like, 3 or Does 8%. So, 24% is pretty high. Relatively. That's one out of four times he uses sense. He doesn't see you. This is the thing. That's huge. I have another perk I don't, you probably didn't see, where uh, it's a chance of him not seeing it glow if you're in a house. Which is... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you pair those together, and, yeah, you can be invisible to Jason. Is there a perk that stops Jay from posting RLM videos during your stream? Oh, no! What got posted? Did he post something? <laughs> God damn it, Jay. What did he post? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think maybe that was just a reference to when they uh, posted the... Uh... We just filmed a ton of crap. Oh, I can't it'd imagine be, anything's done yet. It'd be a yet. quick, un- unbelievably quick edit. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine anything's done yet. Hold on, let me check. But if he had, like, nothing better to do for the last few days... God maybe, damn it, he did. What'd he post? Uh, it looks like... Jay, he's just two, two nights a week. Uh, it looks like the Blade Runner review is done. The Blade Runner? Oh, well, goodbye. Sorry, everybody. Goodbye. The Blade Runner review just came out. Go watch it. Jay. Jay bombing. Ugh. Blade Runner review just five minutes ago. Yeah, you know, uh, and uh, again, uh, they don't do it on purpose. They just don't think about us. Uh, so next time we see them, we should make sure we both have a little talk with them. Just kind of, mm-hmm. hey. it's not, you think it's going to do any good? Huh? Jack, do you think it's going to do any good? Uh, it has a 24% chance of... <laughs> of uh, just like, hey, you know. Somebody's already hit that house. I got twenty-four percent chance. I got I got nothing. You have two monitors. You can watch both. Uh, you know, watch it later or watch the stream later. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, we're gonna check their work though. Maybe they missed a battery that spawned in here or something. They already called Tommy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That... Do, you ever, do you ever go into a house just to check somebody's work? Oh, well, especially like a house like this, because that radio is really distracting. And then you go, oh, this is the radio house. It definitely doesn't have anything else, right? And you might find a a good weapon or something. Flare gun or something? No. Oh, you didn't check that room yet, yeah. Not the bathroom. Maybe a... Is there a boat? No. Sometimes... The propeller, a propeller will spawn in a bathroom. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Mm, let's get into this car action. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm here, too. I see there's only three of you. <laughs> Weird. Yo, leave the weapons here. We're going to need them later. That's actually a good idea. No. What? Leave the weapons here. By the car, sure. So if you find the part, bring it back. <laughs> Uh-oh, well, except for now he's there. Whatever, Chad. Fuck! <laughs> I'm not gonna sue your ass! Fuck, you dumb motherfucker! Chad voice, that's nice. All right, let's see. I, I also saw in chat someone was explaining Duke, uh, Duke Grabowski is a... Uh, an adventure game in the style of Monkey Island. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is it supposed to be a satire of that? Like maybe a, an adventure game starring Duke Nukem? That'd be silly. I need a weapon to help these guys with. It's not crap. All right. They check the dra- Ah, fuck it. We're checking the drawers. Oh, yeah. They can deal with Jason for a little bit. Maybe they can- Ooh, Ooh, see? That's why you check drawers. Yep, I nice. Have keys? I don't know if they have keys. I just. All right, they have gas. They probably have. 
Oh, hello. That's a nice backup right there. And walkie-talkie. Stop. Jason's in the area. Oh, sure. You don't want him to overhear. Oh, there's a pipe over there. Oh, there's, there's the gas. gas. It's got gas. Bear with me, AJ. Jason is right there. Jason is right there. Is that four better for stunning? Huh? Shit. Did I get it installed? It's your boy. T, 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 T. Batteries in, batteries in. Keys are, uh, I dropped them near the car. Someone just got in. It worked. It actually worked. It's all right, Rich. You can do this. Oh, Rich got in the driver's seat. Yeah, I hate driving on this fucking map, though. Fix it. I'm out of here. Go, 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 go. Somebody oh. was getting in the car. I couldn't move. I know. I know. That's all right. Oh, nope, nope. Somebody can fucking stun him. Come on, Tommy Jarvis. No. Drop the trap. No. You got to crouch. If you want to use your pocket knife. Oh, it's right there. I have one? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, God. He got kicked out of the map when I hit him. No, no. He didn't leave. So if, if you hit him... I didn't fucking leave. What the fuck? This, this is... Ha so ever since they did that update that supposedly fixed a bunch of map blue. glitches, wow. I have been kicked off of more matches than I would care to... Is that more or, less or, more or less aggravating than some jackass who glitches his way up on top of a roof where nobody could reach him? More, because at least then I know who to blame. <laughs> if I see someone glitching, you know who one, to blame. One keeps you waiting there for 20 minutes. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh. Yeah, I tried to I tried to back up a little so we couldn't stop the car. I was going to pick up people, but oh, somebody's getting in. I couldn't move. Of course. That's all right. That's okay. Let's see here. Uh, some blue guy in chat says, after seeing that flop of a game three two one grenades not that great i'd still recommend clone drone in the danger zone it's not the best game ever made but i remember you putting it on the list and think you should try it next that's good perks for her clone drone in the danger zone yeah there's a start with a bat for good stun how do i switch this to random Oh, I can't set that to random? I don't know. Huh? Uh, you should be able to. Would you rather watch Jason Rage Quit, Disconnect, or a review of Blade Runner? Oh, yeah. Listen, these are, you got, these are the choices, and I'm not saying that the choice is hard. <laughs> it's, uh, and you can see this from the thumbnail. It's, uh, it's Jay and Colin yeah. talking about Blade Runner. Colin from Canada. And today is Canada Day. Maybe that's why Jay rushed to get it out, because today <laughs> is Canada Day. Today is the 150th anniversary of Canada becoming a nation. Okay. Happy Canada Day to all you crazy Kunooks. It looks like you were set to random. Okay. Gobbledygook says, hey guys, I went to my local Target and found a new thing. Blind Bag Rocket League Toy Cars. They come in a fun plastic ball and have a code that unlocks skin for the same car in-game. Oh. oh, great. Let's shop do something. 
Oh. I have to escape. Well, that's neat. Good for Rocket League. Cleaning up. Make a fun game. Fun things happen. Good for Rocket League. One Kuru says, hello from Germany, you hack frauds. I like Jack's Tommy Bahama shirt. Yeah! My wife hated Wonder Woman and wants to know if there are any good female comic characters that don't exist to hang off of a man's arm. Well, Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, who did not exist to hang off a man's arm. That was the whole point of the movie. Uh, depending on what she likes, I still read to this day Miss Marvel, the uh, the new Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Uh, I think she she has some really fun stories and neat powers and an interesting book. So look into Miss Marvel. Any female comic characters that uh, that don't have a boob window? Um, what's wrong with boob windows? Uh, that's what they're they're they they're looking for female comic book heroes for the wife, and the wife doesn't like it when they're just arm candy, when they're when they're just something pretty to look at. Uh, Captain Marvel. You're thinking of Kamala Khan. I'm thinking of um, what's her face? Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers. Right, right. Her new, her new book, Supergirl. I don't. I haven't. Oh, I haven't right. been to you a comic book store in so fucking long. <laughs> Oh, also, by the way, you know what's a great read? Squirrel Girl. I love Squirrel, Squirrel Girl. Girl's, Karen loves Squirrel Girl. It's adorable all the time. It's it's not exactly a current ongoing book, but Alias. Oh, sure. J Jessica Jones from the uh, Netflix show. That there was you go. that was where she came from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the car that's not trapped. They're saying the new 52 run of Catwoman was pretty good. Oh, also, you know what? Uh, it, the story got a little... Oh, and Chad's going to alert Jason because Chad's putting that in. I'm out of here, ah, Chad. For fuck's sake. Uh, Batgirl had a really good run. Uh, I've, I've stopped reading her because her book got a little bogged down with other bullshit. But the Batgirl of Bellhurst is where I want to say it started. Yeah. It's where uh, she decided to ditch Bruce Wayne... And all of his money and gadgetry and just go out on her own in her own part of town. Yeah. And so she gets a new cool costume and uh, she loses all of her gadgets. And so it's very like, it, it was basically a way to reset Batgirl. And so like, you know, it's low tech and, uh, and starting from scratch. So the Batgirl of Bellhurst is what I want to say it was called. I never usually use this guy. Stamina's like crap, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, stamina's crap, but he has a super repair stat. Hey, nerd, there's gas in the barn. <laughs> That's so horror movie. Hey, nerd, go get the gas. Which, I mean, right? He knows you got a good repair stat. Jason. Fuck it, we're just dead. Yeah. Yep, you sure are. You sure are. Hey, nerd. <laughs> Who is Batgirl now? I last read her when she was Cassandra Kane. Isn't that Batwoman? You don't know. Batgirl's Barbara Gordon. And in the new book, she's Barbara Gordon. She she got her, ba her back all fixed. Isn't there a, isn't there a Batwoman who's a red-haired lesbian? Yeah, I thought that was Cassandra Kane. No. Oh, well then. Cassandra Kane is the one that couldn't talk. I don't know if it's some kind of weird experiment. They turned what would have been the speech center of her in her brain, and they dedicated that to combat. <laughs> so she was like a super badass, but she couldn't verbally communicate. Because the speech center of her brain was dedicated to kicking ass. We can up your ass kicking by 25%. <laughs> I don't think they asked. <laughs> I don't think they asked. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course not. And Supergirl has the boob window because it lets in more sunlight and gives her more power, right? Power Girl? Power Girl. That's fine. I love that look so much. It's so cheesy. Oh, it's it's cheesy and over the top. I love the look, but I think like people have actually argued, like, no, no, you need that. to. Uh, she uses it uh, <laughs> strategically, you see, to uh, 
uh, distract the men she's fighting. No, I like I like strategically to absorb sunlight. <laughs> yeah. What area of her body I mean, has the mer- most surface volume? If you think about <laughs> it, if you think about it, it's just like extra energy coming in. I mean, that's right, leftover beefcake. I mean, if you think about it, she breathes through her skin, and so she needs to wear almost no clothing. And are we, are we thinking about female characters specifically that have their own book? So what like you got like Storm? Uh, was it was it the Phoenix? Sure, you know I was I was thinking of female characters that have their own book just to you know to give the oh his this person's oh wife someone just, to read. Yeah. Um, I like all these ideas. <laughs> Alias, I think, is a good book. This Batgirl, uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, I I didn't actually care for Captain Marvel, her her new stuff when she went into space. Okay. I didn't care for that, but a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people like it. Um, Alias is a good read. But, yeah, there's, and, you know, I haven't picked up an X-Men book in ages, so I, I cannot. I, I like that the, the book, comic books for Alias, they don't introduce Purple Man till like, near the end of the run. Because uh-huh. then you're like, oh, that's why she's so fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's a neat little reveal. <laughs> You just, you just know something horrible happened. But you right. don't you don't know what. Mm-hmm. Well, you know they do. I think they do similar things in the show. It's it's uh, you know a little. I know it's the the show and the book are a little bit different, but but yeah, you don't know the full extent of how awful she is or was or right. which he forced her to be. Into yeah, yeah, good stuff. But. Kitty Pride was Star Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy for a while. Great. Female Thor. Lady Thor, sure. Yeah, you know, there's there's lots of books out there. Did you want to take over for a bit? Huh? Did you want to take over for oh, a bit? Oh sure, yeah, next game I'll take over. There's a there's a lot of good books out there. Like if if you just want to have a fun read though, you find that squirrel girl. It's just adorable. <laughs> it's too cute for words. Let's see here. Where were we? Justin Voorhees says, After what was one of the worst weeks I've had in a long time, you guys stream Friday the 13th and help me forget for a few hours. Thanks, guys, for all the free funny. We try, Justin Voorhees. You're welcome. Moki B85 says, Hey, Wreckers, I randomly watched Jason X for the first time last week, and oh my god, it was great. Isn't it? It's a legit fun yes. movie. <laughs> Has more in common with uh, Alien than Alien Covenant. Sick burn on Ridley <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I mean, you have to be okay with a, a certain level of schlock, but Jason well, that's, X... That's... You have to be okay with a high level of schlock. Well, that's the certain level. <laughs> but no, Jason X is a lot of fun. But it's like a wink and a nod, not incompetent. Right. It's not funny. They didn't know what they were doing. It's like, they knew what they were doing when they made that. <laughs> yes. They knew exactly what they were doing. I, I, I'm. What I'm going to guess is as soon as... If the developers ever finish the single-player campaign... Yeah. The Jason X skin will be like the thing that gets people back into playing it. Yeah. Get ready for the single player campaign. And with this DLC, it's including the Jason X skin. Oh, everyone's playing it again. You know, you know, summer games quick. Yeah. What's going on right now? Games done quick. Absolutely. I, I kind of forgot about it. I had an original idea for something to do tonight. Oh yeah. That we would whatever games they were playing, we would put it on and race them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we would lose so bad. <laughs> nice dodge. I've done this before where I knew I was gonna lose, so it's just like you square off and just yeah. try to fight them. Oh. oh, she's so dead. She's so dead. Yeah, you suck. 
<laughs> Come on. Mommy. Come on. But it's time to come home now. So here's Daredevil with my girlfriend. Thought I'd try Luke Cage, but I'm five episodes in and finding it really <laughs> dull. Our Iron Fist or Jessica Jones as good. Iron Fist is dull. Like Luke Cage. It's not I think Luke Cage is the worst. Jessica Jones is legit really good. Mm -hmm. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy Jessica Jones. It might take you I, I wanna say like it starts getting good at the end of episode two or maybe three. You find that you find its groove with Jessica Jones, but I can't recommend Jessica Jones enough. Uh, I've, I actually I rewatched it. I liked it so much, and it is it is a really good use of the medium, trying to you know deliver a message. With this the, one doesn't actually work, right? For some reason. Is that true? I don't know. I'm going to try it again. I haven't had luck getting it to work. I've heard sometimes stats that don't normally work work if you put them in the first slot. So I'm going to give that a shot. Sure. I know for a while my bat, my base, my start with a baseball bat perk was not working. Do you have the melee stun in? Why are you even holding on to that one? Oh, I just, I, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't have anything oh, I, to grind anymore. I hate so. that one. I keep getting it. And it's, oh, climb through windows yeah. faster? Oh, yeah. It's useless. There's a call the cops faster if you're the one to. If you're the one to call the cops, they come faster. So you know, that's not bad. I'll try Jessica Jones. I normally give a series about three episodes. Okay, great. You know, like and Luke Cage is, eh, like it's fine. <laughs> you didn't see, or no, not Luke Cage. I'm sorry, Iron Fist. I, yeah. You I didn't see that. Luke Cage or Iron Fist. Iron Fist is is really dull. And I'm trying to think of any reason why like I'm defending it. It's it's dull. It's just dull. It's just it just wasn't as bad as Luke Cage in my mind, so. I hate this map. Everyone seems to set the game to this map. Yeah. When they can pick. I don't know why people like this map. Oh, they like the big house. It's, yeah, it's a clusterfuck though. <laughs> you get the phone in the car up in the house, and then Jason can just hang around around there and kill everyone. The phone often spawns. Yeah, that they gotta house. they gotta fix that shit. That yeah, thing? agreed. Plus, the way the roads are designed, it makes getting out with the car insanely difficult. Ah, okay. Yeah, Defenders next month. I'm looking forward to Defenders. There's, there's not a lot of good off-roading opportunities here. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll I'll be honest. I don't think they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the game well, then developers... you don't get fun car escapes. Right. I don't like this map. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. Firecrackers! Happy 4th, everyone. Happy 4th. You don't know why people like this game. The, the Mr. 4... Uh, this game sets up situations in which... You are afraid, you are excited. It sets up situations that involve an incredible amount of tension and skill. Uh, there, There's not enough... There, There's so many bad things about this game. And, and big hero moments. Big hero moments. But it's not on, in a tube. It's not in a line. The game doesn't tell you you're the hero now. You actually have to do things to be the hero. Where is this... And it does a, an incredible job of theming gameplay mechanics towards situations that would happen in a movie. And because everyone is, is a real person, there is this human element dice roll that means you're going to get a situation in which a dickhead totally has time to stop and pick you up in the car but doesn't to save his own skin. And that's aggravating. And it's frustrating. You could have helped me, but you didn't because you're a dickhead. Sometimes they might not be able to. I had somebody just swerve just to hit me once. I wasn't standing in the middle of the road. They <laughs> swerved specifically to hit me. Right. That, that's the kind of moments. That's, I that's, mean, that, one's that's not a, that one's not a selling point, Jack. I was just saying. You never know what's going to happen in the game, Rich. Some asshole might swerve to hit you. Oh, why are you running? Jason's somewhere down that road. Right. I'm just recovering stamina before I go around the corner. Absolutely. Oh, battery. Yeah, but she can't repair worse shit. Oh, that's right. 
That's right. Okay, Sean underscore says, I love that game series Disgia, but they are grinding turn-based games with deep strategy. It is also very anime. Oh, thank you, Sean underscore, for the heads up. Look, I can get around that to some degree if it's a good game, unless it's... Where is he? Oh, he might be next door. Yeah, that's exactly where he is. Plenty of anime nonsense. Yeah, you know, like Rich said, if it's a good enough game, maybe, but yeah, generally speaking. Caught in a trap and the firecrackers. Oh, Jason, you suck. You did it, Rich. You helped. Yeah. It's gonna cost you your life, but you helped. They don't know the batteries now. Don't. Yeah, not now. Let me know when you want. No. Battery's by the four seater. Battery is by the four seater. Good. Great. Great. Let's see here. Chippo Lore says I started watching Star Trek Enterprise uh, to make fun of it, but sadly, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the characters, especially Phlox. I can't tell if it's objectively good, but I like it. Well, Chippalore, isn't that all that matters? You found something... Oh. Did he not see you? I don't know. Somebody's probably getting the car ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, here, let's have some fun with this trap. Ready, ready to get him again. Oh, there's all oh, so many people down there. Oh, you Time want to get out of here. I dropped off the fucking battery. No, no, that's fine. I that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't deserve to be there. <laughs> I'm not saying that, Rich. You dropped off. The, you brought the battery to the car. <laughs> What's going on? Quickly. Are we full? Are we yeah, full? we are. They can see. Or no. Here, we can see. Yeah. We are full. We are full. What are you All guys right. doing? Drive. He's right in front of us. God damn. Yeah, I'm waiting. See, like, you, you have to bait him. Everyone else, you can go. He's gonna be with us for a little bit. <laughs> Bloodlust is trying to bait him. You guys can run away. You should run away. You can either go survive, or and we'll bait him, or let's just have to you and we'll escape. What are you guys doing? Just back up, back up. Go to the off road. There's a little, there's a little path where they can go on. <laughs> There's a little path that you can go on. Let's see here. Uh, Kiss Sperling says you should check out the Total War series. You can pause and issue orders in any town. Battles are about formations, flanks, morale. Not usual RTS chaos. Rather, a deliberate, measured game. Total War series. Have you ever played any of the Total War series? Oh my god, we're gonna, he's gonna ruin the car. You ever see a car that's like upside down? Yep. Oh, he's fine. Look, he's fine. He's doing Take it. Take a right at the split. Left or right? Right. No. Yes, right and then left. Oh, really? Yep. Take a left. Nope. Go right around that house, right through that. Don't, don't. It's just gonna. Oh, I was chasing people. Oh, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. You're being too timid. You're being too timid. Go next to that. Don't. Just, just don't. He's nervous enough as it is. My shouting at him is just going to make it worse. 
There he goes. He made it. Yeah. He did it. He did it. Go, driver man, go! We're not even close to out of the woods. This map sucks so much for getting out with the car. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Candy for Crow says, Hey guys, I know it's early, but for Halloween I think Jack should dress as her star, Rich as Custer, Karen as Tulip, and Jay as Cassidy. And if there's enough room, Mike could be our face. Cheers. All right, hold on. Rich's got some work to do. I'm gonna get out of this car. They're fighting. I think it might be glitched because I can't record it backwards. It works. It actually works. Okay, let's just find another way. Traps, rats. Mad traps, rats, Rich. Is that gonna cost you a place in the car, though? Nope. Nice. Oh! Hi! oh, oh. Yes! 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 Mad traps, rats! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Rich. That was that was, and like you, you, the car just started moving. If he had that start the car yeah. faster part, you might have, you might have gotten out of there. Let's see here. Ice Ham says spam recommendation. One Punch Man. It's a show about a superhero that trains so hard that he's become basically a demigod, but became bald in the process. The show is about boredom of being unbeatable. Yes, I, I actually saw the first season of One Punch Man, and thought it was pretty all right. I'm okay with. I'm okay with some anime, and I, I liked it. I thought, um... Right, who's here to help out? I see people. Oh, oh, he picked up a knife. He's time to pick up a knife. Uh, I thought it was all right. Holy shit. Get started! No. That's all right. That's all right. Is there anyone to pick up? Uh, no I can't see your map, so. Functional mini map right now. Right? Oh, I th there might be someone back. There. That is a person back there. Oh, it's Tommy Jarvis. Nice. Get in, Tommy. Enough room. No, oh, the fence. Do you have a pocket knife on you? Nope. You like that asshole? Still alive. All right, that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh. There you go. There's no way I'm getting out. I'm gonna have to grab way before then. It worked! It actually worked! Shit! Shit, Rich! Sorry, Wendy! What? This isn't possible! You're a madman, Rich. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I don't have a mini map. I don't know which way is north. Which cabin is this? That's the. side of this. I have no idea. You have no map. Stuck on a table. Alright. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
No! Oh! No! <laughs> what? Oh, oh no, you killed someone! You killed someone by accident, Rich. I had a blunt object, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, you, you got the traitor. Negative 1,000. Did I? Oh. Uh, shit happens. Oh, you knocked the bag off his head. Yep. Ah! Dick. I hate getting out with a car on this fucking map. <sighs> oh, you know what? A for effort, though, man. A for effort. If I had the fucking mini map, that would have been something. Oh, it's right by the main road. Yep. Time to get out of here. Yep. A for effort. Absolute A for effort. Right. Uh, yeah. So one punch, man. Yeah, I've seen it. I think it's fine. Um, overall, it's fine. Um, that's that's the tip I left off on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one punch man. Well, maybe maybe this lady can get out. Hopefully, she's the only one left. All oh, right. Input settings. Invert. Apply. Confirm. There we go. Oh, she's on the road now. Oh, keep going, keep going. What happened? I'm not sure. Anonymous says, You guys? It says, Hey guys! No, RLM uploaded their. Wait. They're just talking. You know, RLM uploaded their best of the worst of Hollywood Comp while you guys were streaming? Yep. Well, I got some bad <laughs> news. They <laughs> just did it again with their review <laughs> of Blade Runner. I'm so sorry. Did that lag out or something? Cause how Shit did you, happens. Were you in front of the car? Or did no, it I just break? I, was, I just bumped you over the just like fucking break. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. That's all right. We're still going to be here. I'm sure it's a fine review. If you'd like to take a break from the stream and watch it, that's fine. You, need a sweater, dude. you do you, good people. No, you. you do you. You know what I'm saying? No. Brianzi says, Rich, how smug were you from that best of the worst episode where you were right about the actor that voiced Adam Jensen fish? from Deus Ex because Mike was tad cynical there? <laughs> when did I bring up the voice actor from Deus Ex? Excellent. Are they thinking of uh, Frank West you brought from up, Dead Rising? You brought up the voice actor from Dead Rising. That's probably what they're thinking of. Yeah. Other than that, Spug. No, no, you were, you were actually like more. You were more curious than anything. Yeah, like, this sounds. No, a I, lot was, like I was. Frank. I, I was like, for, I was curious for a second, yeah. and then I was dead sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I think <laughs> like right after the movie, we looked it up, or maybe even during the movie, because you know there wasn't that much going on in DB Cooper versus Bigfoot. During the movie, we looked it up on IMDb and go, oh, sure, shit, it's him. <laughs> I am Chester says there is a fan theory that Jason is a spawn of the Lovecraft outer god Shub Nigarath who was worshipped as a goddess of fertility and would impregnate its follows that could not have children I'm assuming followers sure okay thanks for letting us know possibly but no they, they, one of the movies they they flat out have a cameo from the Necronomicon from Evil Dead in um, Jason Goes to Hell. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen all the movies. What? Here's here's my little my little fan theory. Yeah. Uh, Friday the 13th one. The killer is Pamela. The killer is his mother, right? Right, of course. What if that wasn't just revenge? What if, what if those were sacrifices for some sort of ceremony to bring her child back to life? Oh. If you if you ever wanted to explain zombie Jason, yeah. That's the route you go. All right. <laughs> I like it. Uh I like it. All right. 
This is my bat lady. We gotta, we gotta get some perks. Requires so many sacrifices before it works. And, you know, the last one, she intended it for it to be the, the other council, but it was herself when she got beheaded. Sure, and then and then, and then Jason sacrifice gets works. to come back. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> by the way, that's how you do a remake of Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, or another sequel is you you play it from a different perspective, and she keeps going to make sacrifices. <laughs> Ooh, I like it, Rich. <laughs> I like it. You're gonna be my fighter. You're gonna be my fighter lady. Boom. Alright. What else we got? We got monkey, we got that one. And then you get rid of the awkward. Well, why was Jason just hanging out in the woods for twenty years or fifteen years or however the fucking long you, you get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, I, Rich, this all makes perfect sense to me. Uh, yeah, I like that one. I hate, I, that's, that's the worst, is when your, your character goes, ah, when they see a dead body. It's like, I can't <laughs> fucking hate that. Well, it just lowers the fear you get. I don't think it stops them from doing that, does it? Yeah, yeah. It, can, it, it can stops just, them from doing It can just stop them from doing that. All right. I think. All right. Our Miller says, Jack. I'm Jack. I'm interested in doing a mini PC build like you did. Hey, yeah, those are great. I even like your case choice. Any things you regret about that small build or would tr do differently now that you've had it for almost a year? Uh, it's Has it been? Oh, no, it hasn't been a year. Probably. Has it been? I'm shocked if it hasn't been longer. Uh, it, it runs like fucking butter to this day. <laughs> There has never been a time that I have ever worried about like about my my PC running smoothly. It runs great. Uh, you know, obviously we had a little difficulties with the uh, the case fan, where I had to move the case fan from the inside to the outside. Probably my only regret is not thinking out cable management more. A lot yeah. of those, you know, because it's such a small case. Probably if I would have gotten some custom short cables, it could have looked a lot nicer. In oh, just looking in the hollow, the, yeah. Because yeah. that's the, and like the way I have it set up in my office, the hollow, the hollow side is facing you out. Can, you can do a lot to make that look nicer just by bundling them up and tying them off. Right, yeah. So if, if I weren't building it live on stream, I probably would have taken a little more time getting my cables yeah. just right. Yeah. Uh, oh, head punch. We need head punch. Look, I don't have any of my kills set up. Okay. That Lego is the key to the build. I kind of love the Lego. <laughs> kind of. Oh yeah, just body slam. Boom. The big dumb body slam. Oh, none of the kills are set up on this. None of the kills are set oh, up. Wow. Oh, you've not been buying any either. You know, I don't care about any of these kills. Yeah. I would much rather spend that on on uh, counselor perks. I I bought them all. Just give each Jason a you know full sure. set, full set sure. of different stuff. Sure. Uh, you know, I bought the only important one, which is punch someone's head off. That's all you need. And I do also like just pick them up and throw them on the ground. You can punch through the chest. Uh, you know what? I don't care about that one. Really? Yeah. That one's amazing. I don't care about that one as much. Okay, there we go. And quick plate. I just don't care about that one that much, and I'm very sorry. Yeah, no, my Lego, my Lego is working great still. What is the Lego? The the Lego is holding up my my GPU, my graphics card, which is a one of those heavy fat. It's a giant graphics card. I mean, the graphics card is as long as the case itself. And so I have a le uh, like a ramp Lego propping that up. But no, I've never I've never once had any heat issues. I've never had any frame rate drop issues. Yeah. It's a glorious PC. So I would just spend a little more time really thinking out my cable management and, you know, oh, maybe I could do this a little bit better. You know, like if I got like a slightly smaller power source, maybe, or, you know, little stuff. But no, I think it's a, it's a great PC. Great little PC build there. Jack? Yeah. I am so upset that my little trap in front of the car strap did not work. It can, <laughs> it... <laughs> I am so upset about that. It worked a little bit, <laughs> right? Right? It worked a little bit. 
Is that why you're more upset? Is because like he fell for the trap, and then he still smashed yeah, the yeah. car. Yeah. I should. Well, you know what? I probably should have done. I should have moved the trap a little bit further back. Sure. And that probably would have done it. As long as, but like, then the you car have a bigger dice room roll. to get. Yeah. You have a bigger dice roll that way though, because then like he he needs to walk in the path of the trap and not see it, and yeah. Next I'm, time, I'm, next time I get out with a car, I'm bringing a trap. I like it. <laughs> the mad trap strats. What would have been even funnier if a counselor would have fallen in? Oh, <laughs> and if, uh, unfortunately, you can't warn the counselors, or else Jason will hear. So. See here. What? I wish they streamed at 60 frames a second. Yeah. Listen, it, it takes a lot to stream. And it takes a lot of internet usage. Uh, so we don't. Ooh, this could be me. It could be Baghead. I set my preference to oh, Baghead. Nice. Two dots, two dots, two dots, two dots, two dots. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah the, look for those two knife prompts the two knife prompts show up before yeah, yeah. The, the screen kicks in so I wonder if they did that deliberately they knew that was going to be the case oh no, no nice pocket knife it doesn't look like I spawned near the car so that gives me a slight edge alright what do we got over here not necessarily, Jack. Oh, not ne oh, I know. J there, there's always human error. Jason could just come here because there's a power generator or some other bullshit reason. If you have a, a counselor that's that's good enough at hiding that uh, not showing up in his vision, mm -hmm. if you spawn next to the car, maybe you, you you're right in a house next to like the gas or the battery. You can shove that in the car really quick. Yeah. And then once he comes by, just pop in a building, hide under a bed, don't make any fucking noise. He just shows up, he does the trap, he doesn't see anybody around, and he leaves. Well, and, you know, it takes a while for his uh, sense to... Even even better if it's the gas that you found. I've had this happen, where you find the gas, first thing on. I just sprinted to the car, put the gas in the car, jumped in the building, hid. He came by, put a trap down by where the gas was, because he doesn't know the gas got filled. Of course. Because he can't see that the hood's down. Yeah, yeah. So he wasted a trap, gas was in early, huge win. Nice, Rich. Huge victory. Huge, Huge victory. It's the best. The best victory. Right. Oh. I see people. I like people. I have that perk where the more people that are around me, the stronger my melee is. What do you like to see in your first drawer? Keys, fuse, gas, or pocket knife? Uh, I can work with any of those. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, oh, gas. Got some gas here. Is anyone smart? Anyone have a good repair perk? Oh Shit, red. Yep. Turn around. You have Flash the flashlight. Okay. Now you have a shotgun. Mm, but my bat has a better. I have a better. I have melee. All right. All right. I have melee perks. God <laughs> oh, damn it. Hi, Jason. Don't throw knives. That's not nice. Baghead dick. Ah. Fucking dick. <laughs> what a weird angle. It's not even in your back. I know. You dickhead, Jason. You coming in? He's got to. There's too many people around. Did he go elsewhere? No. Hey. It's not knife. It's not knife. Is he chasing you? No. I'm just getting... <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to give him the opportunity. Let him chase someone else. And, you know, this, this bitty has really good speed. Jack, oh. I'm so upset that my clever trap strategy did not work out. I'm I'm super upset. First of all, no, you know what, Rich, you have you have opened up a new uh, you've uh, unexplored. Um, hold on for a second. Walkie talkie. I've been wanting to try that. Yeah. I've been wanting to try that. No, you've opened up unexplored opportunities for other viewers. 
It's not, you know, even if even even the best strats don't work 100% of the time. <laughs> oh, we got a battery. Bring it to the car. Oh, you know what the fuck I did. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, laying it out in case no one saw that on stream. What do we need now for the car? We need the battery. I have a battery. Okay. Well, I'm bringing it over to the car. If someone could bring a melee weapon for me, I'll drop the battery. <laughs> if you won't do it otherwise, I want to be protected. <laughs> yeah, we need spray. And we got spray. Harlack, you got spray. All right, you got the battery. You do that shit. We'll distract. He knows now, and I was gonna go right after you. Oh, unless he's that's, that's what he wanted. Son of a bitch. They're all by that fucking car. You get your ass down there. Listen, I'm, I'm just making sure I'm going the right way. Oh, I know, I know this well enough by now. This this area? Yeah. This main drag? Disarm. Yes! Crouch. Pick up that fire gun and protect me. B. <laughs> I... I was... I was, dis I was disarming it. Flat rock. <laughs> oh, there we go. There. Got it. Okay. Okay. Car's ready right now. I'm just gonna be in the car. We don't even have time. Okay. All set. Time to get out of here. Here we go. Hey, I helped. I brought the battery. I got a flare gun. I'm ready. Yeah, we're in. Go. Oh, fuck. Oh, Look at that. Sorry. Is Tommy Jarvis around? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, it's Tommy Jarvis spawned in. Keep running, keep running, Biddy. I'm calling the police right now. Fuck. Oh, oh fuck, he's got me. He's got me. Yep, yep. You, oh, you dick. Kill me like a man. Die, you dick. Oh, that dickhead. That dickhead. Let's see if you come back as Tommy. Is Tommy there? Hit up on the D pad. Is, yeah, is that a, a person? He knows. Follow this guy. What? Oh. The mask is off. Yeah, but no one has a sweater. The mask is off. You have a Tommy who spawned. He knows what's going on because he grabbed the machete in exchange for the shotgun. <gasps> and, and we have two girls. Two girls. So if he can find some other counselors, we might see a Jason kill. I love the souls esque you died. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. You died. All right. Hugh Jazza says, Hey guys. Hi. Let my girlfriend down tonight. Would you please tell Lydia that she's the sweetest girl in the world? I just want to make her smile, but can't seem to do it myself at the moment. Rich? Why, why are you asking me? What, why, is, why did it end with a rich question mark? I don't. You know what? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you did wrong. Here's the thing: we don't know what you did wrong. We also know nothing about this Lydia. Right. Lydia could be a horrible bitch. She could be a horrible ditch bitch, or she could be dodging the bullet. I don't Ooh. fucking know. I don't fucking know. We don't, yeah, that's the thing. We don't know anything about this situation. Maybe if uh, if you can't get Lydia to be in a good mood, maybe it's your fault, huge ass. What's his name? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her to get back together with you, and then a month from now I'm gonna be hearing in the news about a. But a murder, homicide, suicide. Right, right, <laughs> right. We don't know. We don't know anything about your situation. Lydia could be great. Maybe she's not. Maybe you're not great. We don't know nothing. You're that's you're asking a lot of us. You get maybe breaking up is the best thing that can happen to both of you. Maybe she's holding you back. Think about that. Is is that a trap? A person? Mad trap strat. Nice. Oh, he can't pick up. Uh, no, pick up the oh, the okay. health. Sometimes that happens. You can't pick up the health potion even though you can see it. Does that ever happen to you? 
So he doesn't actually quite know what he's... Oh! Oh my god. Maybe he does. He, he, he grabbed the bat! They're, they're f no, no, wait, wait. Axe. He's got an axe. The meeting there. She's on the. I know exactly where they spawned. I know oh my exactly god. what's going on. Oh my god, are we gonna see it? We're gonna see it. If they're not, if they don't fuck it up. We're gonna see it. If they don't fuck it up. Hold on. Let's toggle HUD. There we go. Now, now we get to see it in, in clear Christmas. Uh, okay, you guys, else, I'll see it. There's no doing it. We're not playing. Jack is dead. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've died. Uh, I didn't know we were going for a Jason kill. That would have changed my strats. Yes, they're, they're, chat, they are extremely close to a Jason kill. His mask is off already. Don't you switch? Don't want to see what that fat guy's doing. Well, I was just, I was on the lady. Tommy, so. what are you, don't, don't. Go meet the sweater girl. Meet the sweater girl. You dumbass. You fucking double dumbass. She's so close. She's so She's close. She's so close. She's so close. She's so, stop trying to hit him, Tommy. Sweater girl! Sweater girl! Oh! They don't know what they're doing, Rich! They don't know what they're doing, and it hurts! So if Sweater Girl it stuns hurts my him. Soul. If, if for those who don't know, Sweater Girl stuns him with the sweater. He if he drops to his knees, then Tommy Jarvis hits him with the axe. Then and someone they can needs kill a blunt him. weapon. Yeah. To actually knock him over. Stop doing I'm that! We got here, huh? Look, she's just ha she is just staying close. This is why you need a microphone. Guys, Jason kill. Guys, Jason kill. Yeah, we would hear it if they were talking. They're not talking. This is all going on silently. Where's where's Tommy? It's over. Tommy, get back in there. It's over. It's over. Oh, he had a pipe. She had the sweater. Tommy has an axe. Tommy. Tommy. So close. So close, Rich. Yeah, dog. You're a bitch. Talk shit, you leave me alone, huh? Oh, multiplayer gaming. <clears throat> and look at this guy. Just, just, <laughs> just over he here. He doesn't have any idea what's going on. It's like, wow, Jason, I haven't seen Jason in a while. He's <laughs> just doing his own thing. I hope Jason kills all these idiots. I've learned that's dumb. Don't stun him and then use fireworks. Right. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't get double stunned. Right. Oh, the, oh the, the, by, and by the way, this Jason, look how lame he is. He's, he's just hitting him with the pickaxe. Uh, you know what it, you know what it could be? Huh. I've, I've almost done this, mis well, not really. This is an achievement for the... Uh, I don't care enough about achievements that I didn't do it. I'm, I always, I'm always frustrated when I don't get eight kills because somebody leaves. Yeah. Uh, you, you start, you grab them, and then you start the kill animation, but they disconnect, oh, and you don't get sure. credit for the kill. Yeah, yeah. So he probably wants the achievement for the eight kills. Oh. He doesn't want to risk somebody rage quitting. Right. We are in a full and server. Uh -oh. I get it. I get it. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. But he wants to see that eight of eight. No, it looks like Tommy Jarvis is getting out. Tommy Jarvis has uh, got some driving skills. Jason's definitely got time for a morph. Ooh, sorry, Tommy Jarvis. That's, that's my favorite bit of driving ever. Oh. Yay, I love this one. Oh, look at how big and dumb that is. That's a great kill. That's a great kill. Some blue guy chances. The only real problem I have with this game is the lack of variety in the maps. Agreed. At a glance, they're all basically the same map. That is not true. I really want a Jason Takes Manhattan map of a few city blocks. <laughs> Central Park? 
It's all woods, but they're very different maps. That, yeah. that map we're just on, Pakanak, is just a clusterfuck where everything is in the middle. There's one main drag, yeah. 80,000 houses on the main drag. Mm -hmm. uh, Crystal Lake is very segmented. Like, here's this cab, there's four houses, and then over here there's a cluster of four houses, mm -hmm. and then you got this weird sparse area on the other side. That's a different map. Yeah. And then the Higgins house map, that's got the big house in the middle, and it's got this little, it's not quite a river, this little, like, inlet of the water or something sure. that goes oh, in yeah. and Jason can get around in that. Yeah. that that affects gameplay you got the bridge mm -hmm. that's like a bottleneck They're, visually yeah it's all woods but the three maps I'll, I'll give them credit they are different maps mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I mean in general the one criticism like the big big criticism is the game needs more like not only more maps I want more routes of escape. I want more options. Like, I just want more things to do in the map, you know? Mm -hmm. More weapons, some more distraction items, some some more puzzle pieces to get put together. I love the car puzzle. Like, oh, you need all these right parts, and then maybe, right? I want some more puzzles like that to put together for possible routes of escape. We need more, game developers. I want it on more platforms with crossplay. So more pe so there's a bigger pool of people to play with. Make it all happen, but don't charge any more money for it. <laughs> and make it happen fast. <laughs> Rich, what is your favorite non-keyboard and mouse controller? I, I typically don't, like, style-wise, I don't really give that much of a fuck. Oh, yeah? Like, the, the, the DualShock versus the Xbox One versus this. You can't really see it. Generic DualShock knockoff. Yeah, yeah. I largely do not give a fuck. I'm I'm fond of the the Xbox Pro controller. The Elite, yeah. Mostly because it's just very well built. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. The, I, I I've always preferred the Xbox's thumb placement over the the PS4s. I hate both thumbs being down here. I like why? Huh? Why? What difference does that make? Uh, may, maybe this is just what I'm used to. It's yeah. But uh, yeah. my thumbs rest more naturally here than here. I don't like that as much. I don't like that as much. We've talked about that, actually. Bringing my PC in... To do this? In to do a specific, like, be on the same team for a Jason kill possibility. I. You still want to do it? I st if you want to. Okay, let's do that. Maybe we can do that on uh, Wednesday. Sure, sure. I'm totally down for that. I'll just need to. I need to bring my monitor as well, which obviously we can do. Yeah. The only. I mean, the only downside is you'd only see it from from one of our. Well, wait. Question is, which is preferable? So I'm going to split screen or. Well, theoretically. Yeah. If we're streaming from this computer, we can see this computer, and then we could run mine through the Elgato. Yeah. We'd have to mess with it, like, we'd have to delay this one to make sure they sync up and then also delay our microphone to make sure they sync up. So they theoretically could see it from both of our yeah. point of views. Uh, all right. That, all, that, could, that could be the... Uh, I, you know what? I was going to say the finale, but, eh, I don't mind playing this again if, it, if we get another dud, like, one, two, three grenades. Oh. I, don't, I don't mind this as a backup. Poor three, two, one grenades. <laughs> poor, poor three, two, one grenades. Huff Hearted says, "Hey guys, hi. Which do you prefer when done well in a movie? Running gags or fourth wall breaks? Which is more painful when execu executed horribly? Also, happy welcome to Earth Day. Is that real? That's right. Welcome to Earth, motherfuckers." Yeah, I I prefer a running a, a good running gag and a bad fourth wall break is worse. I prefer a good fourth fourth wall break. Oh yeah. And a bad running gag is worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh Rich Evans. Oh Rich Evans, you wacky motherfucker. Uh, machete. I can't think of an example off the top of my head though of a failed fourth wall break. Name me one. You could win me over there, but I like a good fourth wall break. I don't oh. mind that. Oh, a good fourth wall break. Ain't nothing to shake a stick at, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm trying to think of a bad fourth wall break. Hmm. 
Chat saying hot tub time machine, which I have not seen. Oh, sure. Yeah, that was just a really they, obvious gag. What do they do? That when they give the titular line, like they figure out that the hot tub is a time machine, mm -hmm. and Craig, um, whatever that actor's name is, goes, it's some kind of, looks right into the camera, hot tub time machine. That's bad. That's bad, yeah. That's bad. That was a, thank you, chat. That is a perfect here's, example. Here's the thing, though. A bad running joke, you get repeatedly. I mean, your math checks out, I'll be yeah. honest with you. A bad running joke. Oh, I think I saw the battery. For that split second. Nope, that was a suitcase. What do we got? 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 Map. Wrench. I think the pipe does good stun damage, but I forget. That's spray. Take that. Taked it. What do we got? No one's done nothing yet, Rich. No one's yeah, done nothing. Yeah, I know. Nothing. Isn't that frustrating? Well, I haven't done anything either. So You're I not can't, near anything. I can't really complain. Is somebody in there? Doesn't look like the phone was there this time. Phone's frequently at this house. Oh, what's behind you? Oh. Bathroom. Someone was in here. Uh, yep. I think, I think you're late to the party, Jack. Yeah, listen, there's only three houses near me. I'm going to check all of them. You know what it's like. Someone misses the obvious gas canister. Or the flare gun. Hello. I will take a flare gun. Oh, shit. What are you, machete? I don't need the machete. I guess. Did you just check that house? Yeah, the door's locked. Well, hey, you want to hang out together? Hey, no? All right. Within maps, are certain things randomized, like phone placement, car placement, etc.? Yes, though some of the things could be a little bit more randomized. Like, you kind of know. Like, the phone's going to be in one of, like, three or four houses on this map. Yeah. But, you know, that could be anywhere on the map. That's usually... Shit. It's either going to be on the far west or the far east, you know. But, you know, it's... It, it's it, well, it's not by the garage, and then it's probably by the house that's next to the car. But it's not exactly the same every time. And as far as I know, even though they tend to be close to wherever the car is... I'm pretty sure that, like, the gas and the car battery and the propeller blade can be anywhere. Shit, shit, I missed him. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh. At least it's a cool death. I was trying to save. Did you? Did she at least call Tommy Jarvis? That bitty was calling Tommy Jarvis. I was trying to buy her some extra time. I don't know if she continued. Head up in the deep end. They did. It's not you. It's up to you if you want to leave and find a different... Eh, no, I don't, I don't mind staying. <laughs> Alright, so, Jason X. Jason X. We, we, you want to see him in this game, right? Of course! Now, here's the thing. There's two Jasons in that movie. There's normal Jason. Uh-huh. And then he turns into Uber Jason. Would you have them as two separate skins? Or would you have it be... Here's, here's a thought okay. for a Jason X DLC, right? Uh-huh. You know, each Jason's got three positives and three negatives. Yeah. Uh, well, how about this? You start off, if with the Jason X skin, you get both Jasons in one skin. Okay. You start off as, like, the early part of that movie, the normal Jason, and your your pluses, pluses or minuses, they're all minuses. Everything is a minus. Okay. Then you go into rage mode activates, and you're uber Jason, and everything is plus. So you start off, Extremely disadvantaged until you get rage mode, and then it's you kick all of the ass. That's so tough because, like, that gives the other players so much opportunity I know. to leave. I know. Would it be? I mean, first of all, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. What, what if Jason starts off weak mm -hmm. and needs to find an item to turn into Mega Jason? 
Because, you know, like, the problem is rage mode doesn't kick in until you're, what, 10 minutes in? And I think that's too much time. That gives too much time to the counselors. But... Maybe maybe damage against him goes to rage mode more. even more. Maybe. You'd have to find some way to balance it, but... What, what if either somewhere in the woods or uh, in a cabin is the mask? Right? Is like the, the, the uber, <laughs> the chrome mask. And instead of hunting counselors, you could find the mask that turns you into uber Jason. I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I don't know how oh, I right. feel about that. Oh, well, like either way, where it's like it could be crappy and it could not what be. If, right? What if that Jason built rage mode with kills or damage? Ooh, see, I can deal yeah. with that. Yeah, kills and damage rage mode. Yeah, yeah. I like it. You've done your job well, and mommy is pleased. Come home, sweetie. Yeah, that was a good kill. Lopping off the arms and head. <laughs> well, you know, like, and I guess that's, you know, this game has a lot of possibilities. It has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. It'd be neat to see some stuff like that, but we don't have any control. You know, like, I would be equally as happy if I could rebind keys. <laughs> You know. <laughs> game developers of Friday the 13th the game I'm, I'm, I'm behind that 100% I, there's nothing more frustrating than having to stop walking so I can hit the T button for push to talk Dister, thanks for the tip They, they tipped us for the awesome car run. Thing. That was that was a, uh, rich. That backward circle super strat was amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah, Harlack is hung. That's right. Perhaps a developer interview is in order. Uh, sure. Well, yeah, we'll talk to these guys. Aren't they like Russian gangsters? Is that true? <laughs> hey, it's. <laughs> I don't know that they're gangsters. I pulled that part out of my ass. But oh, they're, but they're Russian, you think? I think so. I they think might they be. Are. Yeah, then it might be hard to have a conversation with them. I bet you could get them. Listen, if they speak English, because Rich and I do not speak Russian, if they are Russian. Oh my god, there. these pings are terrible. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. You could have just you could have just left. I well I left the other one because there are only three people in there. This was the new one I joined. Uh oh. you know what? My uh, my ping gives me an advantage, so I'm gonna take it. Okay. Because yours is the lowest or the lower end of everyone else's. That's not a bad thinking. That's not bad thinking. Oh god, there was some guy I heard. When that kill happened, yeah. he played the Mario death music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know what? It's nice to have a bit. Nice to have a bit. Okay, next to a house. Might be next to the car. Nope, not next to the car. Great. Anonymous says, Jack. I'm Jack. I know you're not a fan of games in the vein of Cards Against Humanity. Correct. But what are your thoughts on the Jackbox games? Also, how do people leave such long notes in their tip? Uh, I don't know. Jackbox Games, is that like the you don't know Jack trivia thing? I don't know what Jackbox Games is. It might just seem to you like they're that long. I haven't, I haven't, I don't see any that are huge for size. All right, so anyway, go ahead. You don't I have. I found some shit. His <laughs> name's Socket. So you don't have much experience with the Jackbox? Uh, I guess I don't. I might not know what Jackbox Games is. Okay. So. Unless it's if unless uh, unless I'm thinking it's the you don't know Jack series of trivia no. games, which are great because I like trivia games, but yeah, I don't know what that is. I and you know it's not like I I have a wild passion against Cards Against Humanity. It's all it's it's a fine say dirty things simulator. Um, but to me, like if I'm with a group of friends. We can just, like, sit around and say awful things and laugh. Or we can play a game and, you know, have it be a game. And so I just like people who are just like, oh, let's play a game because I don't want to interact with other people socially. So let's play uh, Cards Against Humanity. I like my games to be games. 
And I know technically there is like a game aspect to it, but it's all it's all just an excuse to say awful things, which I'm totally for. Just being in a room and saying awful things, but I am Chester says. Yep. Do you guys think that there are aspects of how the universe works that are beyond the limitations of the human brain to understand? And as a result, the human race is doomed to a technological dead end. It's hard to answer that because if there is something, I wouldn't be able to understand it. Uh, uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Just because we in our current state are unable to understand something doesn't mean that our, our uh, not our ancestors, our predecessors, what do you call the next generation? Descendants. Uh, our descendants won't be able to. Thank you, Rich. Um, you're talking about like some severe um, a number of upgrades to the human brain, human. though. Like un to understand a concept. That in here. Yeah, but to understand concepts that we have already, there's no way our ancestors would have been able to figure it out. The gun here. We're talking about something like uh, a a two D being understanding the third dimension. Uh, sure, third sure. I don't I don't think any amount of evolution is going to fix that. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Unless we unless we find a unless we find some sort of uh, 4D scope He's going the other way. He's going the other way. I'm fine. We can find oh, a 4 Oh shit. Oh man, I haven't done shit. Oh, I'm well, away from no, no one's done shit. It's an asshole. We can't even comprehend infinity yet. You say hey, that as if somebody will here. ever be able to fully comprehend infinity at once. Yeah, that's why. That's a nonsensical statement. Prepare right. to guess another house. Oh my god! Yeah, I was trying to what distract. Happened? They got their head chopped off. That should be fairly obvious. You know there's a killer on the loose. I think that's a propeller. Okay. Gash me. Doesn't look like they were able. Oh, hey, look, there's the head. <laughs> That's great. Come on. Ozzy Baxter says, Evening, boys. Yeah. Anyone remember the 80s Contra meets God of War side scroller called Rygar? Yes. Uh, what about Spy Hunter? Yes. The car game? I played, I played a decent amount of Spy Hunter. Yeah, I played that. L very little of Rygar, Rygar, but I'm familiar with it. Yeah, I, I played so much Spy Hunter, like, I really thought oil slicks were a real thing, you know, just like, people actually had those. And ever played the massive arcade cabinet version of Gauntlet? Good memories, the 80s. Yes, I oh, have. Oh, yeah. It was the only reason I wanted to go to Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah, they had a Gauntlet? They had Gauntlet. Nice. Ooh. I got the fuse. It's by the garage. Huh? It's, it, I, it's oh, directly sure. north. Yeah, yeah. Pocket knife. It's probably double trapped. That's okay. I got a pocket knife. Uh, oh, I don't have a health spray, but fuck it. Just jump in the window. All right, Jason's busy with other people right now. Come on, keep going. Yep, there it is. It is definitely double trapped. Is that triple? Now, you know what, I'm gonna... That's triple trap, Jack. I'm gonna check in here, see Which if there's a pocket knife or a health spray. Shit. Can we get a health spray? Huh? I don't. Go ahead. Alright, uh, I have the fuse. The phone box is over by the garage, but it's double trapped. Somebody has pocket knives. Hey, this way the, the boat. This way. Anybody know? Map? Anybody? I don't have a map. Okay, I'll try Why don't you drop the fuse the in front of the trap? The in front of the... Thing. In front of the... The box. You're not gonna need uh, to carry it with you. I'm just gonna do it. Jason's busy right now. You, it's... Uh, Alright. Triple trap. I told you. Triple trap. I told you. Trapped. I told you. You weren't going to be able to run away anyway. You didn't have a health spray. 
Yeah, I I could have moved. I had a shotgun. I had, there was a there was a flare gun in there. I could have moved. One trap wasn't going to slow me down that much, Rich. <laughs> Triple trapped. <laughs> Fucking Jason. 